It's 1227 and I'm making this video because we are going into November of like different portals opening up. We have the 1111 portal opening up, but then we have the Palladian lineup. And this one I feel like is going to be a lot more significant than like the last few. The last time we had a Palladian lineup with similar energies that we have this time was like 2017. I was still living in the basement and I remember I made a guided meditation for the full moon that was in Taurus at that time. And this time, like it popped into my head because I was making things for Patreon the other day and I realized like, oh my goodness, this full moon that we're going to have in November is literally during the lineup and it's, it's a Taurus full moon. The reason why I'm like, oh goodness, because that was like at the end of like the worst part of an experience for myself. It was like the end of a cycle. And we've had so many other things coming up with like Pluto and Capricorn energies, which has been very significant for basically everybody. Pleiadian lineup happens twice a year, every year, from like the 15th to the 20th. And it's always been a very significant time for me. I'm born during the Palladian lineup in May. I always end up moving on my birthday. Like, it's a May ones have always been, like, significant, but, like, in a shitty way. <laughs> you know, it's like, oh, you're gonna move, you're gonna do this. Like, big changes that inevitably are good for you, but, like, it's stressful. It's a lot, right? But the November ones, I feel like I manifest a lot more. Things get, like, much better. And everything I'm seeing right now kind of aligns with that, so... I feel like this is going to be a significant time for us to make major changes in our lives. I talked to someone today that has just finally, after three months of trying to get into a position like they applied for, they did the triple infinity Lyran um, right, and then within three days they got they got an offer that's like a 40% increase in their pay and all of that. So they're excited about that. You can get the triple infinity Lyran right on my Etsy shop. It's not expensive. But there's another person that I am friends with that I've been friends with for a while. She's been popping up, like, in my mind, too. But today I saw that she's going and being, like, promoted into a different position that's going to be much more, like, lucrative and good for her. So I feel like a lot of people are going to be seeing a shift within their finances, a shift within their career, a shift within their manifesting. But again, the lineup happens twice a year, May and November. <clears throat> We're basically just more aligned with the energy of the Pleiades. And so... You may have more walk-ins come in. You may have more Elcyon show up. Huh, Elcyon. This is the Elcyon. This is the Elcyon. Hello, Elcyon. Say hello. <coughs> hello. Hello, Elcyon. Elcyon is a great central sun. She's a great central sun. She's a great central sun puppy. And she's very excited. Every time we talk about the ladies, Elcyon shows up. When we talk about Sirius, Sirius shows up. Hello, Seven no Waving. Seven no Waving is also a star baby. Yes, she's also a star baby. You want to say hello? She kind of blends in. Oh, but there she is. Oh, but there she is. She's, and he's a good winner, too. This is, these are the star babies. These are the star babies. Anyways, the, it's just when we're more aligned with that energy. So you may have walking souls. Yes. Walking souls show up in your life. Different events happen. It's a good time for manifesting. So if you've been trying to manifest anything into your life, I would I would be focused on realizing like it may happen at this time. Be positive. What I've been getting, like I've been doing a lot of readings and stuff for people through my WhatsApp, which I do WhatsApp readings now. People request with me like you can get a five dollar reading or a ten dollar reading or bigger reading. You can get a soul chat. You can do all different types of things with me on my WhatsApp. So it's one 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 now one 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 a.m. But yes, the Palladian lineup happens twice a year through May 15th to the 20th, November 15th to the 20th, and basically it's like enhancing the connection between the Earth and the stars of the Pleiades. It's a time where we are going to be like significantly more impacted by the spiritual downloads and the energies that are coming in from the Pleiades. So you may feel like an opportunity to receive more information or be more in tune with your guides or with the Pleiadian emissaries. This is a time where you may see more stuff or may feel more stuff, know more stuff, you know, hear more stuff. We also have like Samhain right now, so the veil is getting thin already. But on top of that, 
we have like the 1111 portal and then the Pleiadian lineup. And it's just like an enhanced time. So it's a gateway for star seeds. The Pleiadian star seeds in particular will be feeling an activation at this time. You may again have heightened intuition, more memories, past life memories, recall, um, or like synchronicity connected to past lives. And like for myself, I've been having a lot of like the Atlantis remem like memories of it from my childhood coming up. I've also been extremely tired and like in bed for a few days now. Like I was just like exhausted. I couldn't even function. But by like November 4th, I should be good. I feel like I'm already getting better. It was just like I was so exhausted. But you may get exhausted. You may be tired. You may like be like, Ugh. like it took all of my energy to do all of the readings that I've been doing in running Patreon. Like I wasn't really able to make many videos anywhere else. I wasn't really posting on social media. But I was still doing a lot of stuff, but also sleeping in the times that I wasn't doing those things. So healing energy and frequency is also coming in. It's like loving healing frequency. Uh, you may be more emotional. Your physical healing may also be shifting at this time. You could have heart chakra activations and enhanced compassion for yourself and others or for like people, animals. You may just feel yourself being more like in tune as an empath or thinking more about others, which is basically like, it's like the Pleiadian way of life just being amplified across the planet. So light code transmissions may be coming in for you as well. If you're sensitive to energy, you may feel those types of things happening. And again, it can trigger more information coming in from your guides. Like I've been writing a lot more, um, feeling guided to share more into like Patreon. Like I wrote a big thing up about like the first couple of experiences that I had and how like the Pleiadian lineup has impacted me over the years. You may also clear up any blockages or you may even ex experience like I've been having throat stuff for like, like I'm having a hard time talking, but I'm also like physically having a hard time talking. Like when I'm trying to talk, it's like <clears throat> for a while and I feel like it's connected and think about this, like the Pleiades is in Taurus, Taurus is ruled over the throat. So it makes sense that our throat chakra be impacted at this time. Uh, we also have cosmic downloads or creativity coming in. Like, Pleiadians are very creative. Like, I'm good at drawing and creating and making all of the things that I make, but <clears throat> that ability increased significantly when I went through my awakening, and I feel like it's the Pleiadians that, like, create through me. All, all that I've created, all that I think of, all that I manifest is, is through the Pleiadian connection. <clears throat> and again, my voice keeps going out. It's weird. You could have intense dreams. Um, dreams may become more vivid, and people may encounter Pleiadian guides in their dreams. You may encounter more higher dimensional realms or like alternate realities. You could be having more transformations within your your dreams as well. Like you may be seeing like upcoming timelines for yourself or information that's going to help you with manifesting what's going on in your physical reality. You may be more creative. It's a good time for your artistic expression, for writing, for music, and other forms of creative flow. And I've been saying that to the people like in the Patreon readings and everything. I'm like, do your automatic writing, do your scripting. I've been guiding, like I've been playing my bowls more, playing with the, the pyramid more. You may be like feeling more aligned to listen to higher vibrational frequencies, you know, um, use music at this time. And also write, create, draw, paint, do whatever you feel guided to do. Many people will experience chakra activations, and particularly with the heart, the third eye, and the crown, which are associated with your higher consciousness and your divine connection. And you may have increased synchronicity. The lineup often brings a heightened amount of synchronicities, meaningful coincidences, and signs that validate a person's spiritual path. Like earlier today, I shared a little video that was like people when you when you have that intuitive friend and it's like something's going wrong in your life and your intuitive friend calls you in that moment and the person like that they pretended to call and talk to was like are you watching me and i have people ask me that a lot but in that underneath that in the comments someone was like how many fingers am i holding up and i was like uh four and then i was like but i'm also getting two and they were like oh my god it was four and eight and four times two is eight so but the two is very like i was very unsure about the two but things like that, like, I feel like that's kind of my day-to-day -day anyways, like, it's constant. Every time I do a reading for people on WhatsApp, every time, like, I talk to somebody, it's just non-stop. It's just non-freaking-stop synchronicity. 
Uh, but it does validate things and it does help. And someone else commented on that post too to let me know, like, they're always saying, like, you can't make this shit up. My whole life is very synchronistic. There's so many things that, like, other people are used to. But I, I'm still that same way where it's like, I get excited about it for myself. Like, when I see the things happening, it's like, oh my goodness. Other people may be just kind of, like, used to it with you. Now it's 117. So 17 was also very significant within the energies today for the Divine Feminine Twin Flame reading. And it's all about victory, which victory was coming through in the cards for the Mystic Monthly. It was coming through in the cards today for the Feminine. I'm actually waiting to do the Masculines tomorrow because I feel like the energies were so similar to yesterday that I feel like it's just going to be the same messages. So I'm going to wait to do that one tomorrow because I don't want to just keep giving people the same messages. But the Divine Masculine Twin Flame Tuesday update will be there tomorrow for them. We also have another activation coming and I will be live on this channel to do an activation like Halloween happy dappy thingy and also the collective ascension boost okay so like people will probably be waking up at this time I think I woke up in November of 2011 during the lineup pretty sure it was like 11 11 11 like right around that time I had so many weird crazy things go on and I wasn't aware of the Pleiadian lineup until like a year later. I wasn't really aware of what was going on, but I was going through an awakening, had a buzz go through my head. And every year since then, something significant happens, whether it's like manifesting exact amount of money that I needed or like changing something significant or bringing in something significant, meeting certain people, new opportunities. It's always a good time. You may notice that the global consciousness is going to be shifting and awakening. So it's a good time to meditate. It's a good time to send love and healing intentions for the collective. Peace, ascension, energies to everybody. And the Pleiadian lineup is like a spiritual portal allowing Earth and the Pleiadian energies to flow, making it a potent time for the awakening, healing, and expanding of our cosmic consciousness. So that's what you can expect over the next couple of weeks and month. And yeah, hopefully this will help somebody. In my name,